You ever wonder what to do with all these ready to run servos? Well, on this episode of the Tech Desk, we're gonna turn them in to RC winches. All right, so for this project, I'm using this BetU 35 kilogram, uh, super cheap Amazon, it was like 25 bucks servo. Uh, we're first gonna start off by removing this top cover and getting into the potentiometer and adjusting that. So for starters, we wanna remove the four long screws. Actually, these are the short ones out of the bottom. And this is going to expose the control board, the potentiometer that's up inside, and the motor. So there's that cover. Keep this aside. Obviously, don't lose any of your screws. Don't lose any of your washers. There are little tiny, if you can see it there, the little tiny black like rubber O-ring on there. Um, and the screws are different lengths. You've got the four long ones on this side and the four short ones on this side. So let's remove this. All right, we got that off. Now uh, let's take a little piece of paper towel just to keep the, the grease from getting all over the table. So you want to make sure to remember which way which way your gears go. So we'll take this one and then this one here is going to come off. This one here is kind of a pain to get off. It is the main gear that connects to the potentiometer. Give it a good wiggle. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got that out, your potentiometer is this little piece here so some of them have a screw up inside there that holds it in it's kind of difficult to see right there um, some do some don't so you just want to push that out okay so here's our potentiometer now we need to plug this into a uh, into a receiver so we can center it out as you can see, the motor is just spinning, spinning away there um, because the potentiometer is not adjusted. So what we want to do is adjust this very slow, but the wrong way. Bring it down until it stops. There you go. And if you go too far, I'll show you here. If you go too far, it goes that way. If you bring it back, it goes this way. So we want to get that dead centered where it stops spinning. Look at it real close, make sure we're not spinning at all. Okay, looks pretty good. So now, hopefully my glue is still good. I was gonna get some more, but now we want to take right on the edge here and dab a little bit of super glue to stop that from spinning anymore. And then we'll let that, oh, it started spinning again. Super glue didn't quite dry on me. Get it adjusted before it locks. There, okay. So we're gonna let this dry. 
So now that we've got this glued and the glue seems to be dry for the most part right now, um, what you want to do is get right in here and cut that excess plastic off the where it sticks up. And what that's going to do is it's not going to allow it to stick up above the hole here. Um, so it can't, where's my gear right here? So it can't read and fit into that gear. I'll we'll start putting everything back together. A little tip on when you're doing this, uh, you want that to be flush here, but leave the, leave the servo plugged into your receiver and into the car just so that you can um, be able to tell if it's if you're turning it or anything like that but what we're going to do is now that we've got that the potentiometer up in there put a little bit more glue down around it just to help really hold it in place obviously you're not going to be able to take this back to being a normal steering servo but why would you we'll let that dry up now that we've got the potentiometer in, slid down in there, glued in place, we're going to start reassembling. You put your main metal gear back on first. Everything spins freely. And then we want to put on the this gear, this gear, sorry. Put this gear on, your first gear, sometimes these don't quite line up right until you go to put on the last gear and then it all just falls and pops into place. Let me get this down on. Okay, had a little bit of trouble getting that snapped in there, but now that it's in, everything will will spin like it should. I'll go ahead and plug it back in there now just test it out there it's running full turn it the other way runs full that way I've got this hooked into channel one so that it's just easy to test it back and forth and as it stops all right let's start reassembling the the covers that on and we get the board tucked down in there back in place seated in its position in its little home all right take our short screws They don't have to be super tight. All right. Now the long screws for the top case. And you'll see it'll start to, to draw in and close up the gap. And the last one. After you get this put back together, you can uh, do a couple things. Each servo will come with, most generally, they come with this flat disc. You can put that on there and get yourself, uh, you can go the cheap route and go to Joanne Fabrics or Walmart and get a metal sewing machine bobbin. And that will work as a spool. Or, uh, if you're local, Darren at Country Junction Hobbies sells these winch kits 
that comes with the the spool, the cable. Um, so you've got the the spool here, and then a nice metal cable with a plastic coating. Comes with the uh, the the hook, the winch cable hook, and all the screws and everything you need for it. But now you have converted your ready to run servos or any other servo you have over to a nice winch. All right, that's all we got for you on this episode of the Tech Bench. If you like this kind of content or you found it helpful, let us know. Hit that like button. Remember, we are a new YouTube channel, so the more likes we can get, the more people we're gonna reach, the better content we can create. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notifications every time we post a new video. As always, fly high, drive fast, and crawl slow.